What's going on, ladies and gents? Kevin here from Sportsbox, sportsboxbreaks.com, coming to you live Wednesday night, July 17th, 2019. We are busting open our first break of the 2019 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball. This is going to be choose team case break number one. Who has who in the break? Arizona Diamondbacks going to Mike T. The Atlanta Braves going to Chris M. The Baltimore Orioles going to Travis S. The Boston Red Sox going to Neil L. Chicago Cubbies going to Jeremy S. Chicago White Sox going to Ryan Y. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds going to Raymond V. Cleveland Indians going to Dave R. Colorado Rockies going to Mike T. Detroit Tigers going to Chris N. Uh, the Houston Astros going to Chris N. KC Royals going to Robert T. The Los Angeles Angels going to Aaron F. LA Dodgers going to Chris N. Miami Marlins going to Chris N. Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers going to Mark H. Minnesota Twins going to Greg Z. The New York Mets going to Mike T. The New York Yankees, Neil L. Uh, the Oakland A's going to the hitman from Holland, Jan K. Uh, Philadelphia Phils going to Chris N. The Pittsburgh Pirates going to David R. San Diego Padres, Chris N. San Fran Giants going to Travis S. The Seattle Mariners going to Jim L. St. Louis Cardinals going to Dan B. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays going to Tommy K. Texas Rangers going to Torian T. Toronto Blue Jays going to Robert G. And the Washington Nationals go to Ryan Y. Guys, there is a whole bunch of non-baseball content in this product, and we do sell a 31st spot in the break, which is a catch-all for all the non-baseball content. And that non-baseball spot, and this one belongs to Jeremy T. So Jeremy will be getting all of the non-baseball, and that's applicable to every one of these Allen & Ginter cases. There's a 31st team spot sold to account for all the non-baseball. Here we go, guys. Allen & Ginter. Um... Just so you're aware, for those that are new breakers with us, guys, every single card is going to be coming to you. So to keep this thing going at a bit of a pace, because this will take the better part of probably two hours to get through, to keep this thing going, we will be only showcasing the hit cards, anything that's low numbered, and so on. So autograph cards, relic cards, low numbered cards, otherwise we're going to just keep going through it. All right, there's an empty box. All right, let's get these things in a single row, shall we? Let's do a quick count here, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the second row of six makes it 12. Here we go. Looks like uh, saltwater taffy, right? Every year we say the same thing. Looks like saltwater taffy boxes. Three hits per box, right? Look for any three of these, any three of these cards in every box. Autograph, relic, rip cards, printing plates, and book cards. And it goes without saying, guys, I even put a dedicated note on the product page about this. All the box toppers, I'll bust these open last. So I'm going to put 12 box toppers together. We're going to bust all 12 open at the end. But if any rip cards get pulled, we are not ripping the rip cards. We will be uh, sending them off to the to team that's on the face of the rip card. <clears throat> Just an FYI, we've had some heat in the past from guys that thought we should be ripping open those rip cards to see who the team is on the inside. No, no, no. The front face of the card is the team that it goes to. <laughs> but it says rip card. Guys, check out the auctions for Jason's brother. Jason's posting the links to those. Some really nice product. Our distributors came through with some good stuff. Donating to that cause. Great cause. Great product. Jay has that stuff running on eBay. He just posted the link in the chat. We'll take you to those eBay listings. much easier to open these packs than it is to open up the packs of uh, four cards per pack optic. Alright, there's one half. 
Guys, do me a favor if you're watching this on YouTube and you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. It is free. It's just basically saying that you follow the YouTube channel. Let's keep those numbers building up. All right. What do we got? Allen and Ginter is at 13. So I have more cases of the product, guys. Allen and Ginter break number two. Don Russ Optic break number two. I've got two cases of each, and I'm willing to uh, put in a super long session here tonight to get as much of it busted open as we can. Personal boxes of Optic available. Jason's busting those open at his location tonight, so if you want to get in a personal. All right, here we go. Box number one, folks. Good luck, good luck. Again, all cards coming to you. If you see me pass something off... If you see me pass something off and you want to see it before I get too, too far past it, just give me a nudge in the chat and I'll show it to you. All right, let's get the camera focused in. All right, again, we are looking for numbered cards and such. So we got a lot of minis going to come up in these. A lot of mini cards. What do we got? Ginter Greats of Sandberg. <laughs> Here's one of the first non baseball. What do we got? History of Flight. So I've got to keep a bunch of stacks going on here. And here comes our first something something, guys. Okay. We got a Smoltz Mini. And now we're going to do a little Ricky Henderson Relic Mini. So Mini Relic of Ricky. And that's going to be going to Oakland. Let me get the Allen and Ginter list up in front of me here. Oakland's going to the Hitman from Holland, Jan K. Jan picking up the first hit. Ricky Henderson Relic in mini form. Trying my best. A lot of stacks going on here. Again, if any of these non-baseballs turn out to be a hit, I'll showcase them. <laughs> I don't even know who half of these guys are. America Ninja Warrior. Okay, he's off the TV show. American Ninja Warrior. Collectible canines. In the first year we did this, they had little lions, which was a whole series of cats. Now we got collectible canines. Okay. Why not? Aquarius. Brooklyn Dodgers. Jackie Robinson. Okay. These minis just come flying right out at you. The Tasmanian language, lost languages. Here's a guy from the World Series of Poker, John Gin Sin. I think it was last. Was he last year? Or was the year before? History of flight. Okay. A whole lot going on here, folks. A whole, a whole lot going on. Mares and Stallions. Mark Summers, Double Dare, right? That's that dude from Double Dare. Martinez, the Chihuahua, some of these guys, what do we got, Burton Rocks, okay, Hercules Club, okay, all right, here it is, all right, <laughs> it is a rip card, it is 37 out of 50, San Francisco Giants, <clears throat> Willie McCovey. So there could be another team inside of this card, but we are not going to find out. The team on the front of the card is going to be the recipient. So the San Fran Giants go to Travis. It's funny, we were just commenting on these rip cards. Rip it or keep it. 
So, Travis, that'll be up to you when you get it, buddy. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to rip it? Mirrors and Stallions. Baseball Star Signs. Aries. All right, one sec here, folks. It's going to be a lot of organizing and reorganizing to keep the table working. Sell it. Sell it unripped. Good move. Good move. Travis Pastrana. Matthew, Mer what do we got? Voice actor and dungeon master. Okay, why not? Justin Bonomo shows up in this. Justin Bonomo. Okay. I'm just excited to see if James Holzhauer shows up. Jay, if you're still out there, remember year number one we were doing this back in 2014? The Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik was in it that year. This mini came flying out at me. Emily uh, Jansen. What do we got? The Concord? The Concord. Which I don't even think the Concord flies anymore, right? And here's the uh, second relic. So I think this should be with the rip card considered uh, hit number three because the rip card, I think, counts as one of the hits. So a relic here for St. Louis. St. Louis Cardinals on the board. Going to Dan B. Dan B. Picking it up. Matt Carpenter relic. So let's see if they give us anything else because the rip card should count. So the David Slingshot. So they had a relic of this. I think, Mark, you were saying this was the... Uh, they had a relic of the David Slingshot? <clears throat> All right. Last little bit from box one. Tom Seaver Mini flying out. <clears throat> Post Malone. Oh, Jesus. Post Malone. Why not? Post Malone. These minis are just like dangerous. They come flying right out at you. Incredible equipment. Cupid's bow. Mookie Betts Mini. Pastrana again. Oh my gosh. And the fine print on the back said, this material comes from nothing at all. That's so, that's so silly. All right, last little bit from box number one. I see some color, I think, unless that's one of the, uh, yeah, it is. It's the history of flight. The Boeing 707, not can be confused with the 737. That's all the rage these days, at least in the news. Robin Hood Bow, incredible equipment. All right, guys, we're done with one box. 11 to go. Here we go. Box number two. Again, taking all the box toppers together, we're going to look at 12 of them in one shot at the end of this whole shebang. Cards going for about a hundred bucks. No kidding. Was it the first year, Jay, that we uh, were doing these that the guy was giving us a, a hard time about the rip cards?
Yeah, some guy was giving us a real hard time that we should uh, we should have ripped that rip card for him because his team might have been inside. This is uh, Goodyear's handiwork here, Jay. That's what happens, you know. <laughs> These crazy-ass cats. Oh, and Butch sent it, and we ripped it live. I remember that. I remember that. We had this guy that was breaking with us pretty regularly when we first started. And then he uh, decided he wanted to scam us. And he, uh, he did. He scammed us. put in like a refund request after uh, after the break took place. So he saw that he didn't get anything big and put in the old refund request on eBay after the break took place. Good times. All right. A piece of the, uh, the card stock flying right out. All right, here we go. Box number two, guys. And the minis are flying out. What do we got? We got a John Lester. We got a Golden Retriever. All right. Hillary Knight, hockey player. Haley Dawson. All right. Thor's Hammer, guys. Incredible equipment. Thor's Hammer. Okay. Alan Ginter, Mares and Stallions. Mini flying out here for Houston. Josh James. Ken Griffey Jr. is a Scorpio, apparently. Rhea Butcher, never heard. Mel Ott. Got another History of Flight. The History of Flights are the only ones that seem to have color, right? The Wright Flyer. The Wright Flyer. Haley Dawson's Cool Story. Oh, okay, okay. Chugging along the bullet train. And here comes our first hit. It is going to be the form of a relic. New York Yanks on the board. New York, <laughs> the egg. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, Yankees. Little game used action for the Yanks. The Yankees in this one go to Neil. Neil L on that one. Um, the egg. I'm just looking at the write up here. Instagram, just an egg. Okay. Why not? Incredible equipment. Manny, mini. I just saw a thing. It was like the physics of skateboarding and it had Rodney Mullen in it. It's a YouTube video. I just watched it last night. Johnny Bench. The Black Lab. Incredible equipment and here comes our first auto and guess what? It's going to be for the non-baseball it appears. It is going to be Matthew Mercer. Voice actor and dungeon master. Matthew Mercer. So this is going to be going to the non-baseball spot. A mini auto. So that's our first bit of ink. Going to the non-baseball. What do we got? Havasu Falls. Falling out. Alright, that's one half. Let's look at the second half in a sec. Here we go.
Joey Gallo Mini. Thanks, Jay. I'll catch you tomorrow. I'll still be around until uh, still be around until Friday afternoon. Do a little weekend getaway this weekend. The <laughs> Santa's sleigh. All right. Santa's sleigh. They're pretty. They're reaching pretty good on these non-baseballs this year. They're reaching pretty deep. We got Ty Cobb. Cincinnati Red Stockings. The Harrier. All right, next one coming up here, guys, in the form of a relic. Mariners going to Jim L. Jim L. picking up a D. Gordon. Relic card that features memorabilia from D. Gordon. Seattle and a mini flying right out at us behind him. Yeah, it's going to be Pool Halls, Angels, Mini. Ben Schwartz, actor and comedian. <laughs> there you go. Sister Mary Jo Sobacek. Daryl Strawberry, Mini. Guys, 13 left in the next Allen and Ginter, 19 left in the Optic. I will bust them open if we can get them filled by the time we bust through this case. We still do one more? Can't remember. What do we do? Are we still do I think we're still do one more. Could be wrong. I guess I am wrong. Okay. All right, guys, that's box number two. Chugging along here, folks. This stuff's not easy to get through. It does take a while, each box. <clears throat> I believe so, Trav. Let's see. My mini stack here. Oop. Golden shrimp is a unique tropical plant that, f that requires little attention. Okay, why not? Why not? All right, next box. Here we go. Box number tray. Empty. So Jay earlier sent me uh, this screenshot from Facebook that He-Man, the 80s cartoon and 80s toy line, is doing a comeback where they're going to reproduce the original He-Man again next year. So Jay's a big fan of like the retro He-Man stuff, so he's all excited. He-Man Masters of the Universe making a comeback in 2020. It's a pretty cool uh, documentary show that was on uh, Netflix, The Toys That Made Us. I don't know if you guys have ever caught that. I think they feature the He-Man stuff <clears throat> in one of the episodes. <clears throat> that goes back to like all the toys from your childhood and gives the history of them and all that good stuff.
Okay. Give me one sec here, guys. My throat's getting all <coughs> dried up here. <coughs> Can't have that, because we got a lot of talking ahead of us still. All right, here we go. Chugging along the freight train. Just start going through a little faster, just looking for the hits at this point. Aranola Mini. Cal Ripken Jr. Mini sliding out at me. The Black Lab Mini. All right, here it comes. We got a Correa Relic Mini. Houston gonna be on the board for Chris and Chris. Carlos Correa, Relic for Houston in mini form. So I don't know if you guys like followed poker back, you know, 10 plus years ago, but this kid right here, Justin Bonomo, was a big online player and was actually caught up in a big scandal. Um, wasn't a good look for him. He like <clears throat> was entering sit and goes um, with multiple accounts. So he would have like, you know, two or three active entries in one single table tournament so that he would have, you know, X amount of chance to win over and above. All right, what do we got here? Got a relic of Mark Summers, Double Dare host, TV host. So again, going to the non-baseball, Mark Summers. I remember watching a documentary on Mark Summers like years ago that he was, he had like a very high level of like OCD to the point where it was like, um, like a huge part of the guy's life talking about this OCD. I mean, we all pretty much have some level of it, but I guess his was like really <clears throat> really a big part of his life. Baseball star signs, the Capricorn, Ozzy Smith. Professional strongman. I think he was just on, I think it was this guy just on Joe Rogan recently. <laughs> Poseidon's Trident. Soto Mini. And here comes our next one, fellas. Atlanta going to be on the board. Another relic. Atlanta going to Chris M. Chris M. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Atlanta picking up that one. <laughs> Pied Piper's Pipe. Okay. Flying right out. Upper Chinook Language. The egg, one more time. All right, this mini hanging out there. Rodney Mullen, black frame. This mini sliding out of the back. Is that Dan Rather? It sure is Dan Rather. Haven't seen Holtzauer yet. We got the first Tiger Mask. Professional wrestler. The first Tiger Mask. Don Quixote's Lance. Uh, 
All right, fellas, that's box three. Give me a minute. Offload these here cards. Three boxes down. I got a whole bunch of minis. I'm going to put them off to the side, get them out of the way. Okay, let's keep rolling. Box number four. I'm going to put these guys up on top of the stack. What's the word, guys? Are we going to do maybe another Optic? Optic was getting low. Allen and Ginter's at 13, Optic's at 19. Trev, do you know of the golden shrimp? Is that why you're asking about the golden? I've never heard of the golden shrimp. <laughs> no, you read it right. You read it completely right. I thought golden shrimp, I was going to see something referring to an actual shrimp, but uh, that's not even the case. All right, there's one side. Let's do the other. So did you guys buy anything for Prime Day? I gotta say, I'm thoroughly disappointed in this year's Prime Day. I was searching and looking and looking for good deals. I'm sure there were some good deals to be had out there, but I could not find anything. I was literally like, I just struck out. I couldn't find anything good to buy. And I was like, well, why spend the money then? I'm not gonna like try to intentionally buy something just to buy it. Like, I've got all the Amazon devices, I've got the Fire Sticks, I've got the 4K Fire Sticks, I've got all that stuff. If I bought more, then I would just be duplicating what I already have. All right, here we go, here we go. I think, I think uh, Kathy's uh, mother bought us an Instant Pot, so I think that's coming our way, that, you know, was courtesy of the, the deals on Prime Day, but... Got a black frame mini of Jim Palmer. You didn't get anything either, Trav? Yeah, I was really disappointed. I thought I was going to, oh, okay, here comes Prime Day. I'm going to buy some good stuff. Nope, couldn't find anything. I already subscribed to the Amazon services also. I subscribed to their music service. Usually that's cheaper on Prime Day, but I already have a subscription. So it's like... Rosie the Riveter's Work Gloves. Come on. Rosie the Riveter's work gloves. All right. Got a mini flying out here of Trevor Hoffman. Ryan Braun, mini. Bought stuff from other stores, Greg, but not directly from Amazon. Yeah, I was looking. I was looking. I did want a, um, <clears throat> like a fireproof file box. Okay, here comes our first hit out of this box. It's going to be for Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh spot. And this one goes to Dave R. Chris Archer Relic. Chris Archer Relic for Pittsburgh. Yeah, I did want um, like a fireproof file box. But I couldn't even find any that were on like Amazon Prime special. So I was just like, eh, I'll get it whenever.
Is this the space shuttle? Space shuttle discovery. All right. And here comes our next one. Next one. A lot of relics in this one t this year. Only one auto so far. Uh, Boston going to Neil. Got a J.D. Martinez relic coming your way, sir. J.D. Martinez. Boston Sox. Coming your way. The 4K Fire Stick was on special, I think, for 25 bucks. That was a good deal. I just happened to have, like, four of them. <laughs> so it was like... I'd be buying them just to have like a backup. In fact, I have a backup. I have one that's not even out of the box yet, which I specifically bought to be like, oh, if you're ever traveling, have an extra fire stick so you could take with you, throw it in your suitcase. You get to the hotel, just plug it in the HDMI port and you have all your TV with you. Jay Larson. Space Shuttle Endeavor. Have any of you guys uh, done the full cord cutting thing? I was a pretty early adopter in the cord cutting stuff. I used Cody for years, and last year... I stopped using Cody and started using Plex instead. And let me tell you, man, that Plex is awesome. You can access your like local library of stuff from anywhere. So if you're traveling somewhere, you could share it with friends. It's really good. Look out below Victoria Falls. I see a relic or something coming up here in a second. Okay, here it comes. We got Merlin's staff right here. And behind Merlin, we have our next auto. Our next auto, Philadelphia Phil's going to be going to Chris. And here you go, buddy. Mini auto of Dylan Cousins. Dylan Cousins auto, Philadelphia Phil's. Very nice. First Tiger Mask showing up again. <clears throat> it's pretty easy nowadays, though, Trav. Pretty easy now. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Justin Bonomo, mini black frame. Okay, that does it for that box. Give me a sec to offload. <laughs> I got a message over on Google Hangouts. You probably just heard the ding go off. It was Jason, and it was like asking for a food order. I'm like, wait, what? And it was a uh, message meant for his wife. I'm like, you know, as much as I'd certainly order you some food, it'd be a far drive. All right, next box coming up. Ah, oh, there's Chris. Chris saw the auto come out for... Uh, for the Philly spot. Nice one, Chris. Nice. Guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for getting these filled up today. Always nice to break the product on release day. Keep the momentum going on the next couple. Even if they don't go tonight, Jason's going to be live tomorrow, so... He'll be live tomorrow, and he'll be live on Friday, too. Two releases coming out on Friday. Elements Football, and uh, what's the other one? Opulence? Opulence Basketball.
Next week, some good releases too. <clears throat> Both Wednesday and Friday again next week. Releases are coming at us pretty quick now. So I think it was like the first year we started doing breaks. Maybe like we were just into it for a year. And our distributors started asking us, oh, which products do you guys want to pre-order? And they were showing us some of the stuff that's coming up. And I think like Gypsy Queen was one of them. And the reason I'm talking about it is because this product, like, you know, a ton of cards in Gypsy Queen. I remember us saying like, no way, that's way too many cards to get into breaks. And now... Some of our most popular breaks are these products that have just an absolute ton of cards because a lot of guys in the break scene shy away from doing them. They don't want to go through all the labor because it's a ton of labor. But yeah, <laughs> we kind of go the other way these days. Gypsy Queen. Can't remember how many cards Gypsy Queen is. I think it's like at least 2,500. The monorail train. If you guys ever watched The Simpsons back in the day, one of the best episodes was the monorail. Remember the monorail episode of The Simpsons? I can remember this song right now. All right, here we go. How about another rip card? 49 out of 75 for the Astros. Who's got them Astros? Chris and Chris picking up. A Justin Verlander Houston Astros rip card. Boom, baby. The rip cards are doing some pretty good numbers as far as reselling them. So there you go, Chris. Second rip card of the case so far. Chris, you're reselling it, you're keeping it, you're ripping it. What are you doing with it? And here it is. How about some strongman action? Um, what's his name again? Robert Oberst, professional strongman. So relic on the non-baseball side. All right, one side of it down. Here comes the next side. <laughs> Rip it or flip it. I see what you did there. Up. We got the uh, hot dog, the Dachshund, Doxies flying out at us. We ripped one the first year, like we were talking about in the chat. The first year we uh, did this, we had a guy refund like put in a refund request and kind of screwed us over on one or two team spots and we had a rip card and we were like yeah you know what let's just rip it nothing good came out of the card on the inside blue ribbons hot dog eating contest did you see there was an espn 30 for 30 right around the fourth of july on the kobayashi and whatever um, rivalry between the hot dog eating contest guys. Got a Mookie Bla or Ozzy Albies. My bad. Ozzy Albies black frame. Mini. No, you cannot, Matt P. You could certainly buy in, though. All right, next one coming up. L.A. Dodgers relic going to Chris N. 
Chris Taylor relic. So that's back to back. Or no, actually, the uh, last one was for the non baseball. But beyond that, the Joey Chestnut versus Gilby. Uh, yeah. So LA Dodgers relic. There's the David Slingshot. All right, let's keep rolling. <clears throat> We're approaching the halfway mark. Cincinnati Red Stockings. Brandon Drury, black frame, Robin Hood's bow. What do we got? Lost languages, mini. All right, one more box is down. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan, appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys, next box. Here's all of our top loaders. <clears throat> Ooh, we got a small top loader this time. We got the uh, N43 box loader. So let's put that along with the bigger ones. How's that, uh, Ryan, I saw that you, you did your business there. Thank you. How's that whole thing going on? Some of the other Breaker channels, have you guys seen any updates on that stuff? I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was just curious if that nonsense was still kind of running rampant out there on some of the other channels. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. All right, here we go. But thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that was that was not fun. Cal Ripken Jr. is a Virgo. They are doing the upside down business here. The German Shepherd Mini. Mirrors and Stallions, the Clydesdale. Remember as a kid I saw the Budweiser Clydesdale somewhere. Can't remember where. I know they <clears throat> set them up in a lot of like national events and stuff. All right, nothing yet. Got minis flying out at us though. Drew Dreschel. Simmons Mini? Okay, here comes something. Incredible equipment. And it is going to be John Smoltz, I think. Yep, John Smoltz. Atlanta Braves Mini Relic. Braves going to Chris M. Chris M. Picking up a relic for the Braves.
Okay, chugging through here, fellas. We're going to be halfway through the case with this box. I just realized that I busted open only half the packs. Okay. I guess we're doing this one a slight bit different than the others because I'm not paying attention. Killabrew. All right. So that's half of the box because I didn't bust open these packs. I'm sleeping at the wheel here, guys. I'm sleeping at the wheel. All right. Here comes the other half. Let's do it. <laughs> In fact, I have it off to the side, Trav, but I, uh, I need more. It's like two hours cold at this point. I'll still drink it. What I really am is hungry. I'm starving, actually. Okay, this will put us halfway. <clears throat> I'm taking a sip of that coffee. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, it's all good, Ryan. It's all good. We'll get through it. actually ate not too soon before uh, the whole session started, so I don't know why I'm as hungry as I am. Thor's hammer again. The funny thing is, like, 20-some hundred cards isn't even that crazy to get through. It's the fact that there's so much just no Taco Bell. Well, funny you should say that, because... Kathy was on her way back, and she didn't get Taco Bell. There's like a whole chain of these, um, like, local, more traditional Mexican taco shops out here. They're very good, actually. They're, like, not mass-produced Taco Bell-style tacos. They're actual, like, tacos, burritos, like, not Taco Bell. Let's just put it that way. There's ones out here called Roberto's, and I think that's what's waiting for me. The Bernays Mountain Dog. The Stealth Fighter. The Lockheed SR-71. Remember that band from the 90s, SR-71? Wasn't there a band from the 90s? And here comes our next hit. Colorado Rockies picking it up. Little pinstripe, you can barely see it. Colorado Rockies going to Mike T. Kyle Freeland. Kyle Freeland relic with some pinstripe. Mini coming off the back here. It's flying out. The minis are falling. Danny Jansen. All right. Here comes our next relic. I can see it. And that is going to be for the non-baseball. Charles Martinet, video game voice actor. Okay, I have no idea what video games he did voices in, but apparently a video game voice actor. So going to the non-baseball. Gary V. Gary Vanderchuk, huh? He's in this. Okay, guys. We're officially halfway there. Officially halfway there. Let's see, how long so far have we been at it? We have been doing this break so far for 55 minutes. So that's not too bad. That'll put us, you know, two hours for the whole thing. All right, let's go to the top. Next box. A 
another one of the N43, smaller size guys. There we go. Guys, limited amount of this product available. We got four cases of Allen and Ginter in total, and three cases that we did as pick your team of the optic. So if you're looking to get involved, I wouldn't suggest waiting. I would suggest picking up your team's ASAP because they're gonna go pretty quickly. Tomorrow we got another live session, so a bunch of stuff's gonna go tomorrow too. The new product is so limited in how much we can get these days that, you know, that's not a marketing gimmick, that's the real deal. They limit us on how much we can actually buy. Any Costas Vida Mexican restaurants? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Although, I'll tell you what, like, there is a lot of really good Mexican food here. Okay, here we go. Let's start on the right side. Mini flying out at me. It's going to be a Max Scherzer, Washington Nats Mini. Flag Guerrero. I don't think I've seen anything with numbering yet, have we? The black frames don't have numbering, at least the ones I've shown. Unless I'm missing some of it, because I think the numbering would fall on the back, but. The Great Dane. Just the rip cards, that's right. Yep, just the rip cards. And here it comes. Here comes something, something. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians relic. Indians going to Dave R. Dave R. Ramirez relic coming to you, Dave. Mini flying out of Dion. <laughs> Paul Bunyan's axe, folks. Paul Bunyan's axe. Those mythical cards are ridiculous. Holy minis flying out. The Boston Terrier wanted to bite me. Brooks Robinson. Oh, Tani. Rosie the Riveter's gloves. All right, one half down. Second half. Collectible canines of the English Bulldog, mini.
actually this webcam that we record on, like, you know, the cam we use for these brakes, I think it's the C920, which is a pretty common webcam. They're an HD webcam that's been out for a bunch of years. <clears throat> I think these on Prime Day were going for like 25 bucks, which is crazy cheap. They're usually, I think when we got them, they were like $100 each. Then they went down to like maybe 70 bucks a piece, but 25. I was almost tempted to buy backups just to have backups of them at a cheap price. I see something coming up. Merlin's staff and uh, all right, baby. We got some ink. We got some ink of Justice. Justice Sheffield, Seattle on the board for Jim L. Sheffield Mini Auto going to you, Jim. Congratulations, sir. Greg, I know you were talking about, did you guys, uh, any of you guys watch Stranger Things? The Netflix series? I know Greg Z was talking about checking it out when it came out the week of the 4th. If so, what'd you guys think of it? I watched it. I've watched the first two seasons prior to this one. It was alright. It was pretty good. Some pretty good 80s retro throwback stuff in there. Alright, next one. Cubbies going to be on the board. Relic of the Cubbies, Ian Happ. Ian Happ, Relic. Cubbies going to Jeremy S. Jeremy S. Getting some Cubs action. Black frame of Trey Turner. All right, that does it for that side. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five to go. Five left. Let me get these minis. These minis are getting crazy. Okay, here we go. Let's go. <clears throat> Losing my voice. All right, we're back to the big toppers in this one. Okay. Boom and a boom. Funny thing about that Stranger Things show is the kids in that show are pretty much exactly at the age in the year that's represented in the show that I was. So like in 1985, which I think is when the most recent season is supposed to take place, I was the, uh, <clears throat> the same age as those kids. <clears throat> so all the pop culture references were like completely in my wheelhouse. side. Okay, here we go. All 
the Maltese. Uh, Don Quixote's Lance again. Steve Carlton Mini. And here it is. Texas picking this one up, going to Torian. You got a Joey Gallo relic coming your way. Torian, Texas Rangers. Congrats, Torian. Black frame mini of Justice Sheffield, the Trident, Poseidon's Trident. Bryce Harper. Still a little weird seeing Bryce Harper with the Phillies cards, right? Still not quite normal. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. And here comes our next relic. It's going to be for Pittsburgh. It's a Josh Bell. Josh Bell. Pittsburgh going to Dave R. Dave, congratulations, sir, picking one up. Lost Languages. Tony Gwynn. Okay, that's one half. <clears throat> Second half. Minis flying out. What do we got? Matsui. Let's find a good one. Freestyle wrestler, Kyle Snyder. Felix Hernandez, mini. All right, here it comes Achilles armor coming up in front of it. Incredible equipment, and boom, there it is. Got a Burt by Levin coming up. Burt by Levin. Very nice. Auto for the Indians. Cleveland Indians going to Dave R. It's a nice looking auto. Mini auto. Burt by Levin. Cleveland Indians. Nice. These minis are like facing the full, like horizontal direction in some of these. I was just looking at that picture of Ortiz. Not the most flattering picture I've ever seen of David Ortiz. Uh, <laughs> Pecos Bills Lasso. And Jay Larson finishes off that box. Four to go, fellas. Four to go. Plus 12 box toppers to bust open and look at. And I'll hit recap it when we're done. So still some stuff to do here, guys. Still some time.
Topper. You guys sleeping out there? Who's still hanging? Got 17 active viewers. I know you guys are out there. Eating some ice cream. You doing the halo? Halo ice cream? Or you going uh you going full ice cream? The halo top, is that what the stuff? It's pretty good stuff. It's pretty good stuff, that halo top. See, my problem with ice cream is I'll get, you can't even call them half gallons anymore because they're not even half gallons or whatever they are. Like, what's the size of a traditional like Briar's ice cream. The problem I have is I'll get it and I'll eat the whole damn thing. Portion control is not my not my strong suit. So getting the Halo stuff in the small little containers, at least it like forces you to have some level of portion control. Is it a quart, maybe? tired here fellas getting a little tired yeah I think it might be a quart I think so okay here we go mini coming right out of the back so that is gonna be Walker Bueller Ishiro what's Ishiro Ishiro is a Libra in case you're wondering What do we got here? Harold Baines, Black Frame, Mini. Don Quixote, Lance. Nothing yet, folks. Great Dane. Space Shuttle Endeavor. And here comes a relic. Angel's going to be on the board. Aaron F. Aaron F. Albert Pujols. Relic. For the Angels. Congratulations, Aaron. Nice. Mini coming out of here, Yastrzemski. Ozzy, and then the English Bulldog. The Bell X-1, I think that was what? The first plane to break supersonic? If I'm remembering back to, uh, what was the movie? The right stuff, the 80s movie, all about like the history of flight and space program startup and all that. I think it was the right stuff. <clears throat> those guys were true cowboys back in those days, man. Just taking chances on like non-tested stuff for the glory.
got a Conseco. Mini falling out here. Potato sack racing contest. Okay. I'd love to be in like the product meetings that Tops has internally for this product. All right, I interrupt my spiel to look at our next hit. It looks like it's going to be non baseball again. Brewer and podcast host Augie uh, Carton. Brewer and podcast host Relic go into the non baseball. Molina Black Frame Mini flying out. Don Mattingly. All right, here comes our next hit, guys. Next hit. Is it going to be ink? It is not going to be ink. But it's looking pretty good. Mike Piazza. That's going to be a Dodgers. Dodgers. Relic. Who's got them Dodgers? Chris N. Mike Piazza. Coming to you. Lost Languages. Carolina. I'm not even going to try. All right. Last little bit from this one. Three boxes left. Mike Piazza. Check this out. So like the texture on this card, what are these like a uh, special card texture? What's going on with this? You guys can tell me. In Bloom, the Mexican hat. It's definitely got some weird texture going on. Okay, three to go, folks. Three to go. <clears throat> the card is blooming, okay. I guess that's just the style of that particular car. The In Bloom has like a texture on it like that. It'll grow if you plant it. Okay, there's one side. All right, let's keep going. Is that right? That's real? That card actually has like seed material and it'll actually grow? Or are you guys joking? Had many flower cards years ago that actually had seeds in them. Wow, that's uh, well, that's different.
Fist when I think it's a joke, it's real. <laughs> that's thanks, Trav. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's well, I'll put that off to the side. I guess that's kind of a hit in a certain way for the uh, non baseball. All right, let's keep this party going. Here we go. Got a mini black frame flying out at us of Rizzo. Got a Byron Buxton mini. SR seventy one Here's another in bloom, this one not texturized. Got a Reggie Jackson. Angels mini. I see a hit coming up, folks. Here comes a hit. King Arthur's sword. And a ooh, baby, very nice. Boom. Alcona Jr. mini auto. Congratulations. Very nice. Braves, and this one goes to Chris M. Ronald Alcona Jr. auto in mini form coming your way, bud. Congrats, congrats. Nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's that's maybe the best thus far. I'm not sure. Cal Ripken Jr. Mini Black Frame. Space Shuttle Discovery. Here comes our next hit. It is going to be, I believe, again for the non-baseball. Non-baseball. Freestyle Wrestler Relic. Kyle Snyder. Kyle Snyder. Let's see. Hold on. Let me look through this little stack in hand first. Brian Anderson. All right. Let me get these out of the way. Should say plant. Plant this card on the back of it. Let's see. Yes. Plant it or keep it. Plant this card and watch it grow. That is... <laughs> that's really different, right? There's like a bump. You can see right above the B, there's like a bump in the card. I don't know if that's where, like, it's a seed pocket. But yeah, that's <laughs> plant it or keep it. So it's like a rip card for plants. Collectible canines, the yellow lab. And here it is, boys. Here it is. We were saying, I, I hope there's going to be a metal mini. How about them White Sox and Ryan Y? Michael Kopech, mini metal. Nice. Mini metal coming your way, buddy. Very nice. It's mini flying right out. A little hammer and Hank action. <laughs> Odin's throne. Oh, man. Are they SSP, like super short? Um, I don't know. You guys, do you know that? Show it to you one more time here just to uh, give you a full scope of it. Uh, 
Mini Metal. Man, these minis, like, they stick to the bottom of the card, and then they fly right out at you when you pick the stack up. Carlton Fisk, got the Bell X1 again, and here comes our next one, Texas. Torian picking up another one for Texas with an Odor Relic. Texas Rangers and Torian getting it. Oh, a mini of the egg. All right, mini of the egg. And last little bit from this one. We've got two boxes left after this stack right here, guys. They're that rare. They're numbered. There's only three in the whole. Okay, two boxes to go. <clears throat> They're numbered to three. Well, that's uh, that's pretty awesome then. Congratulations, Ryan, nice hit. All right, here is a topper. One. And a two and a three stacks. A flora of the world. Well, it looks like this one is plantable as well. Let's do that. This product is so crazy. Like, there's so much weird stuff going on in it, which, you know, makes it a lot of fun. going on here guys you're seeing what I'm seeing what are these style boxes what do we got going on is there like a special hot box or something going on with all these cards having that uh... in a minute hot box Chris all right hot box beautiful it took me a minute to even realize that we had like gold framing around the whole every single card so what does the hot box bring in these guys what's the hot box one side of it just the gold border Wasn't sure if there was an additional uh, autos or anything. It's just a gold border. Guys, Jason's going to be live tomorrow. If you're new to our breaks, we are a two-person operation. I'm Kevin. The other half of the operation is Jason. We do our breaks from two different locations. I'm coming at you from Las Vegas. Jason's coming at you from PA. So when we do these sessions, we're coming at it from one of the two locations, and uh, we'll have more of this and more Optic lined up for tomorrow in addition to a bunch of other stuff. Silver portraits only in the hot boxes. Okay, well, let's see what we can find here, folks. Here goes. Let's start the, start the party. Let's just look at some backs of these real quick to make sure. Here's a mini of Yarbrough. Ah, Francisco Lindor is a Scorpio. Okay. 
black frame mini of Carlton Fisk. So all with gold borders, hot box style. Incarnacion mini. And here comes our first relic, guys. First relic is going to be Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford going to San Fran. And Travis. There you go, Travis. Brandon Crawford relic coming your way, bud. Brandon Crawford mini. French Bulldog flying out, Thor's Hammer. getting through it one box left after this one guys one box to go after this the golden shrimp Tony Gwen's a Taurus or was a Taurus all right one one minute here guys half of the box still left to look at Here we go. The egg mini form. Is that what's her fate? That is. That's the chick from uh, Pawn Stars? Or not Pawn Stars. American Pickers. American Pickers. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's another auto, ladies and gents. Reyes Auto. SD Padre is going to Chris N. There you go, Chris. Congratulations, sir. Mini auto coming your way. A book in the last one? I don't even know books were in this. <laughs> it's as much as I know. There's so much going on, man. Why not? Let's get a book in the last box. Let's do it. All right, guys. The offer is on the table. It'll be a very long session if all of a sudden we had a huge influx of spots picked up, but the offer is out there. I will bust open one more Allen & Ginter or one more Optic if we can fill them by the time I get through this last box and the hit recap and such. So um, it's pretty unlikely that's going to happen, but hey, maybe, maybe things can happen. Black Frame Mini. But if they don't go tonight, you know, for those that are new with us, if they don't go on any specific night, they go the next available live session. So we're going to be live again tomorrow, and we'll be pushing the other ones. So wave two, hopefully we'll get, you know, one or two of each going tomorrow as well. We don't have a ton of stock of this stuff. <laughs> Look at Post Malone. It's so ridiculous. Dennis Eckersley Mini. All right, last little bit from this here box. Do they still have the um, the fabric, like the fabric cards? And here we go. Boston. With the Chris Sale Relic. Boston Red Sox going to Neil L. Neil L. There you go, Neil. Chris Sale Relic for the Red Sox, sir. Strasburg Mini Black Frame. Okay, one box remaining, guys. One box remaining. Can we pull 
something crazy out of the final box. Be fun to do it if we can. Just organizing the setup a little bit. Yeah, the cloth and the woods are the one of ones, are they? Yeah, I remember we pulled some cloth ones in, in past years. Like some cloth minis. And the last topper is going to be one of the N43s. So putting that there. All right, good luck, guys. Let's get your teams on the board if you haven't scored anything good or anything at all yet, for that matter. Here we go. I forgot about the wood. Yep, I forgot all about the wood. The wood is one of one and the cloth is to ten. Good info, thank you, Ryan. Alright. So guys, all of our videos are archived on our YouTube channel, so if you can't make it out to the live session, we do archive all of it by the end of the night. But if you can make it out to the live session, by all means, try to. The bigger the live audience on any of these nights, the bigger our chances are of getting the stuff filled. Live viewers buy spots, so that's the whole thing. Having the live audience is, is key to get these breaks filled up. Mini stained glass is to 25. Oh, hey, you're giving me info, Ryan, because I uh, didn't get a chance to. <laughs> no way, Travis, no way. All right, here we go. Final box, guys. Final box. Mini coming off the back. Rodriguez, Patrick Wisdom Mini, Derek Jeter is a Cancer, The Egg, Willie McCovey, French Bulldog. All right, here's an in bloom. It is not texturized, so we cannot plant this one. I see a hit coming up. I see a hit. All right, King Arthur's sword is going to lead us in, and we got a Carl Yastrzemski relic. Yastrzemski Relic Red Sox. Red Sox going to Neil. Congratulations, Neil. Another one for you for the Sox, buddy. Two back to back. So, what'd you have before that? You had the uh, Chris Sale, right? It's Red Sox crushing it. Rizzo. Black Frame Mini of JD.
Mike Trout Mini. Okay. One half of a single box remaining. Let's see what else we have in here. Got a mini falling out at me. Black frame mini Frank Robinson. And here is something, something for them Mets. How about a hand numbered 21 out of 25? Ahmed Rosario mini for the Mets. That's pretty sweet. Out of box number, what do we got? 12? Yeah. Who's got them Mets? Mets is going to Mike T. Pretty cool, Mike. Very nice. Very nice. And here is, I think maybe our last hit. Washington Nats going to be on the board for Ryan. Got a Bat Relic, the one and only Bat Relic we've pulled out of this so far. Trey Turner, Bat Relic, Washington Nats. Got a Lost Language Mini falling out. Still got all of our box toppers to look at, folks. The Devil's Throat. The Boxer, Canine. And here's another relic. That is going to be, I was just talking about it. She's from the American Pickers, right? Fabric relic of, uh, what's her name? Danielle. Reality TV personality, American Pickers. I was just watching the American Pickers last night. And there she is. A little relic action for the non-baseball. Okay, guys, that is all she wrote for the standard cards. Let's look at the box toppers and see if anything is, uh, is hanging out in the old box toppers for us. Give me just a minute. Organizing a whole bunch of cards. Okay, here we go. Box toppers. Let's uh, going in reverse order with no regard to one of the uh, N43s or the big oversized ones. Let's see what we got. We got some Houston Astros. Check out the, the factory cut on that. Justin Verlander, Astros box topper. Astros again, El Tuve this time. Black and white. Okay, I don't know if they're all like that. A cabinet box loader. Okay, interesting. I guess they are, huh? Cubby's going to be on the board with the next one. Chris Bryan Cubbies. Yep, that's a style it looks like of all the bigger ones. Okay, the horseshoe falls. Looks like there's some staining on the back of this card, just to show. It's coming out of the package like that, some staining right on it. Horseshoe falls. It's going to be going to the non-baseball. Otani showing up. Otani, very nice. Angels box topper of Otani. Here's another one of the 43, N43s. 
So I was looking to see if that that rigid cut on the side was going to be the way they all came up, like the first one, but no, that is not the way they all come up. The first one just happens to be that way. Alex Bregman, Astros. Astros. Here's another one of the N43s. Aaron Judge, New York Yanks. New York Yanks, Judge. Clayton Kershaw, LA Dodgers. Dodgers box topper. All right. Venezuela. It looks like the non baseball ones have that particular, like, it looks like staining, but it's almost like part of the cardstock. Angel Falls, Venezuela. Going to the non baseball. All right, Yelich Brew Crew. I'm, I'm assuming some of these box toppers must have autos on them, right? There's autoed versions of the toppers in this product. All right, Baez Cubbies. Another one for the Cubs. And the last one right here, ladies and gents. We are getting another Aaron Judge. So we got the N43 version, now the bigger version, the cabinet box loader version. Aaron Judge and the Yankees. Guys, thanks again for getting it filled. Um, again, all cards going to be shipped out to you. We'll get these shipped out to you ASAP, which is probably going to be the early to mid part of next week. Usually, just the rule of thumb, five business days from the night the break took place is how long it takes us to sort all the cards, process all the cards, package them, and ship them. So that does not include weekends. So basically, it's uh, five business days from today would be next Wednesday. So typically, that's around the time frame it takes us to get this stuff shipped out. So thanks again, guys. And we'll be getting it shipped out to you ASAP.